Hey guys, I'm Michael Cheek with Mike'sGuitarLessons.com and this is the first lesson for Have You Ever Seen the Rain by CCR or Creedence Clearwater Revival. Um, we're going to go ahead and do this song probably in just a couple of videos because it's pretty simple. Um, most people will play this just with the chord progressions but I'm actually going to add in the little fill-ins that the piano does as well. So um, that will add a little bit of uh, dimension to your playing. Um, again, uh, if you haven't watched my videos before, you can find me on Facebook. I've got a group there called Mike's Guitar Lessons. Um, my Twitter handle is at Mike's Guitar. And again, my website is www.mikesguitarlessons.com. Okay, I've got an email address there too. It's feedback at mikesguitarlessons.com. Let's go ahead and get started though. Um, the chords you're going to need in this song, um, at least for the intro that we're doing right here, is going to be A minor. Okay, um, F, C, and G. Okay, and we're going to play a couple of little um, fill-ins in between some of the chords here. So let's go ahead and get started on that intro part. Before he starts singing, he goes through that chord progression, A minor, F, C, G, and then back to C. Well, what we're going to do at the beginning is our A minor is when we're going to have this rhythm. Okay, mostly all down strokes, but at the beginning it's, it's down, up, down, and then you continue the down strokes, so. Okay? Just like that, okay? Now, when we go to the F chord, we just keep with the down strokes. Just eight of them. And then when we go to the C chord, we're going to do what we did on the A minor as well, so down, up, down. So. Okay, so that far into it, it's A minor, F, and then the C, and then the G is just like that, eight strums down with that. But the only difference is on the G, what we're going to do is actually, if you, if you don't want to just strum the G and you want to play the little fill-ins, let's go ahead and learn those real quick, okay? So when you go to the G, you're going to start with this little... Um, fill in where it goes uh, okay and you're to the C chord okay so what that is is open on the A string third fret on the thick E string open on the E string it's kind of a, you let that one go a little long and then you have another shorter one same note then third fret on the thick E string again so, and then we have third fret on the A string, but you want to go ahead and hold your full C chord down because you're going to strum that. Okay, and we do a little lead right there too. It's not really a lead; it's just kind of a background thing, but um, that's what it sounds like. And then you have your uh, G chord. Okay, and you go on your C chord there for the intro. Now the C chord doesn't just stay all the way through until he starts singing. Um, when you're in the C chord, you're going to play... Yeah, that's right. I'm just looking at my tabs here. And then back up to your C chord. So what that is, is 3rd fret on the A string, 2nd fret on the A string, open on the A string, then 3rd fret on the thick E string twice, and then back to third fret on the A string. And that's going to be your actual C chord. So you can just strum your whole C chord there. Now, the guitar is not actually doing that. That's just a piano playing in the background. But um, again, it kind of adds to the song a little bit, okay? So one more time, the intro. start singing right there okay so that's your intro now um, that part's pretty simple you just have to get the timing right so again I always encourage you to look up the song on iTunes or go buy it from the CD store or record store or wherever you can get the song and actually play along with it look it up on YouTube um, whatever you want to do to actually get that song 
Okay. Now um, let's go ahead and learn a, a little bit of the um, verse. And what that's going to be, uh, a lot of the same chords really. We're going to go, um, our chord progression, just so you know, is going to be C, G, C, G, C. Okay? Before we get to the actual chord. So one more time, it's C, G, C, G, C. Now that's pretty simple, but the tough part is, is knowing where to change these chords at, okay? So I'm going to sing a little bit here. I'm apologizing ahead of time because I'm not a great singer, but um, I'm going to follow along with what I've got written down here and uh, show you where to make the chord changes in reference to where the uh, lyrics are falling, okay? So here we go. Um, starts off. Someone told me long ago. been coming for some time. It still sees. And it's so, so they say. It'll rain the sun again. I know. Shining down like a water. Okay, now I'm crescendoing or getting louder on that last C chord because we're about to go into the chorus. Okay, um, I didn't set my timer here, so I'm not sure how long the lesson is. I'll probably stop there and just finish up the uh, course on my website. But um, that's actually most of the song there um, because it gets repeated so much. So since we did the intro and the and the verse, you got most of it. Um, the rest is on the website plus uh, tabs and uh, chord progression. You can download at my website too. So. Um, one thing I want to point out is on all those, though, the rhythm, you're just going to be doing straight down strokes. Okay, no complicated rhythms. If you want to uh, spice it up a little bit between your chords, you can do that down, up, down. So you're going... You know, so you're switching to like a C to a G. You can go... And then down, up, down. So... Getting a very new chord. As you're making that change, that'll kind of make it sound a little bit better. So, anyways, uh, that's the end of this lesson. Check back often, especially now um, I've got moved back into my uh, current office that I, that I actually love recording out of. So, I can do a lot more videos now. So, check back often. I'm going to be putting up a lot more stuff now, um, as often as I can. Maybe a new video every day or every other day. So, um, thank you for watching. And good luck.